The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in shale, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance, in your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Let us pray. Loving Father, we do not understand how this can be, but we praise your wonderful name and give thanks that you are with us every step of the way, every moment of our day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Is not this the fast that I chose? to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, 
to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Christ died for us so that whether we wake or sleep we might live with him. Now Lord you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. We pray for your church throughout the world and for its many leaders. May we who worship you in so many different ways and languages never forget that we all belong to your family and that we are all your children. As we face the challenges ahead, we know that you will always be with us. We pray that we will not be silent when people are calling for help and that we will not pass by when wounded humanity is waiting to be healed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who live in constant fear. We pray for all parts of the world where there is unrest, war or fighting. We pray for all those who leave their homes and countries to try to find a better, safer life elsewhere. We pray for refugees everywhere and for all those people who will not have food or clean water today and for whom every day is a struggle. We pray for the many aid agencies who are trying to relieve suffering and distress and we thank you for their lives of service to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are lonely or sad today. We pray for the homeless and for those for whom life is very difficult. Give them your peace. We pray for all those in hospital, hospices, mm -hmm. residential care, or who are undergoing long-term treatments, particularly remembering any known to us. We remember all those who are affected in any way by the pandemic, which has spread throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died recently, remembering any who are known to us. We remember their families and friends and all who mourn. We pray for any for whom today marks a special anniversary. Grant them your peace. O oh God, you know our deepest thoughts and feelings. We ask you to receive our prayers and to answer them according to your will. Merciful Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, you gave up your Son out of love for the world lead us to ponder the mysteries of his passion that we may know eternal peace through the shedding of our saviour's blood 
Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Everlasting love I have loved you With an everlasting love 